hey there. Hi. Name's Dudley Wristblock. What's that? Oh, you want to know what the date is? Well, it's the 13th of June, and it's a Tuesday. Yes, that's right. The wrist calendar. You guys remember those little wooden desktop calendars that people used to have? They were made out of little blocks of wood and they had like a wooden holder and they had a block of wood for every day of the week and every month and all that, all the numbers. Well, this is the kind of the same idea. So I like wearing wristwatches. I'm not much into smart watches and I really don't own any expensive watches per se. Some of my watches do have the date, like this one has the day of the month, right? The window is quite small, so sometimes you can't quite read it very easily, at least when you get older eyes. Another one of my watches, this is one of my favorite ones, I think this is made in Ukraine. It's a very cool watch because it has only a single hand and the smallest divisions are five minutes. And it is a manual wind only, no battery and everything, and of course no calendar. I've been wearing this watch a lot lately. I really like it, but the other day I was sitting here at my table and my phone was over across the room charging and I wanted to know what the date was. I was typing up a letter and wanted to address the letter and put the date on it. And I said, you know what I need is I need a calendar on my wrist so I don't have to rely upon watches that have the tiny little windows. And so that got me thinking. So whenever I get interested in some idea like that, I grab my sketchbook. In this case, this guy. You guys have seen it before. And uh, this uses loose sheets of paper. Well, I've been sketching ideas about this particular idea for the last few days. I call this the wrist calendar. Let's see, the very start of this, this goes back to the 10th of June this year, 2023. Well, to start with this initial sketch, the idea I had was a 3D printed plastic watch body with windows for the various fields. And I was envisioning having slots in the side where you insert these printed cards. And then I started thinking about, well, the cards themselves, how many do you need? Well, I was thinking double-sided cards, so you would have six of them double-sided for the 12 months. You would have four cards double-sided for the seven days of the week. And then the two separate digits, one of them would have two cards double-sided for the 0, 10, 20, 30, and then the other would have five cards double-sided for the 0 through 9. So you could have any combination of dates you wanted. And then I started thinking, well, how are you going to arrange those cards? And another idea I come up with was what if you made each of them into like a booklet? You kind of tape them and you have to kind of open them up and flip them around. But I didn't think I could make that very small and have it work properly. And so then I come up with this idea that I was so proud of is an accordion fold thing with uh, dates on both sides of the accordion fold and they would slip into the side slots but of course after I thought about it and I built a prototype I realized that you can't really fold the accordion very easily and have one of the dates in the middle of the accordion showing on top because then the accordion fold kind of interferes with itself and it was a nice idea but sorry it didn't work all that well and then the other night, this is kind of what I come up with. This was a 3D printed bottom with these little recessed trays for all the different fields. These two things are your strap lugs for your strap to go through. And then there's a top mask with clear openings like windows that you could look at. And I actually designed this in on shape and 3D printed some prototypes of it. Well, when I first started designing this in on shape, I didn't really know initially how to combine layers. So I made three different pieces. So the first piece was this, was the base of it, the bottom of it. This is the part that will be close to your wrist, and it just has the two slots for the wrist strap. And then the middle part was the main body of it, and this has the little recessed openings that you set the cards in and it would be mounted on top of the base like this, so the cards go inside of there. And then the top part is a mask that you look through, and the holes in the mask to see the cards are slightly smaller than the main card opening so that they don't fall out. So this was the initial one that I printed. As you can see, it's quite thick, 
and by the time you run a strap through it, it's kind of very bulky, not very comfortable, but it was my initial idea anyway. So then, uh, this was another idea based on if you were going to be strictly laser cutting the body parts out of acrylic plastic, you would need a base layer, the intermediate layer with the pockets, a little spacer, and then the upper part here that gives you the little slot for the clear piece to slide into. So that was just a, a documentation of that idea. Two more ideas here, just to be thorough about the design of it. This might give you guys some ideas if you want to tinker with it yourself. So the top one, it has a snap-on kind of a shell on top instead of using the top piece as a separate one that's held on by the wrist strap. This was going to have like a clip-on thing that just snaps over the sides. And then this here is more like what we ended up doing today. We designed it with these slots in the side where the clear acrylic piece slides in to cover it up. And then the next thing I did is I finally figured out how to do a recessed extrusion of a particular depth. And so this uh, was both of those bottom layers combined into one. And I really like the way this came out. I used the same size openings for the holders for the cards as before. And then I also made the top layer the lid thinner. It's only like two millimeters, so it's a little bit less bulky. Put it together like that, and it is less thick, but still a little bit too thick. And also, I don't like the way the strap lugs have to go all the way through the full thickness of the body. Yeah, so then this was the uh, one that I finished late last night. I widened all the fields so that they're the same width as the strap lugs, and it looks quite nice. And then this is the window that covers them like that and it is quite usable now late last night I just cut some cardstock and I hand printed the text on these cards and they are double sided some are some of them are double sided some are single sided I should say but uh, this is actually uh, what I was wearing this morning on my wrist when I went over to my friend Ethan's today okay so this is the latest version we had and my friend Ethan Moses helped me with the CAD work to design this so first of all these little wrist calendars are built to use these cloth wristband straps and these are known colloquially as NATO straps they were invented by the British for the British Special Forces back in the 1950s is the story I heard but anyways they go through these slots without having to pull any pins out or anything so they're very convenient so let's look at this setup here well we have one piece body with a clear acrylic cover. So this one piece body is 3D printed out of filament. We have the gold bling color. It is quite compact. It's thinner than a Casio uh, digital watch like an F91 and it has some nice rounded corners to it which is kind of cool. So we have this slot on the side that the acrylic slides underneath these little rails like that. So I'm going to pull the acrylic window out. This is, uh, I think it's one and a half millimeters. And then each of the placards for the letters and words. So this is one and a half millimeter acrylic that these were cut from. And the way that this works is uh, the full power of the laser cuts the actual piece out. And then a different recipe uses a lower power laser to do the engraving. And when it actually comes out, it's not colored like this. It is uh, this dark gray that you see right here on this version. And so there's two ways of doing this. What we did for these letters is before we laser cut from the sheet of black acrylic, we actually left the brown adhesive paper coating on both the front and back side. So once these were cut out, the brown paper was still in place and it acted like a mask. So we took it outside, taped them down to a surface, and we spray painted these. And we didn't really let them cure as long as we should have because I was in a hurry today, but we let it cure somewhat. And then you have to intricately, carefully peel off all the little pieces of brown adhesive paper around where the black is. And you end up with uh, interesting little colored letters. Now, I have a whole set of these letters numbers that are painted yellow, and they're currently drying, curing. They'll, I'll probably leave them for a couple of days, so they'll be hopefully better quality. But this was just an initial test of the idea. Okay, so this is the blue one that also I really like the color on. Let me pull the NATO strap off for you. All right, so this one, the acrylic is a little bit tighter. There are tolerance issues when you're 
3D printing these parts because of the PLA filament, thermoplastic resin. So just to show you guys here, this piece, this month piece right here. So this is what they look like when they come off the laser cutter. And what we did with these pieces is we peeled the paper backing off the sheet of plastic before we laser cut it. So that meant we didn't have to intricately peel each little piece off after. We did wash these with some soapy water to get the ash uh, from the laser burning. So that's what it looks like without any paint on it. And I kind of like the coloration, this color scheme of this black and gray, kind of darker color. It kind of has an interesting subdued kind of a look to it and I think it's pretty neat. And uh, of course, uh, yeah, it, with a blue uh, NATO strap like that, it's going to wear on the wrist quite nice. But when you have a, a nice uh, looking display like this where it's so easy to read the date and the day of the week and the month and all that, you figure you're going to have to change these out every day, right? Up, keep this thing updated just like you did with those little wooden desktop calendar thingies. And uh, so that means you need a whole set of these little placards that are laser cut. And uh, so, yes, we have a little box here that we designed, actually mostly Ethan designed. So that's uh, the lid, of course, and there's three different little rows in this tray. So what we have are the days of the week right here. And the, the next one I'm going to be using for tomorrow is in the front, so you can see Wednesday is ready to go here. And then the months are in the middle row, and July is next up when we're ready for it. And then all the numbers are right here that we need for the, the, the digits. So we have 0 through 9 and then 0 through 3 for the two sets of digits. And also, we have a couple little special symbols. Let's see if I can grab these without dropping them. First of all, I thought it would be fun to have a C prompt, a command prompt, like my wrist calendar rebooted itself. I thought that was kind of humorous. And then uh, Ethan liked the error. And the ones uh, that we're going to be painting, I've already painted these two red, so I thought it would be fun if just whim on a whimsy I can wear the error or the C prompt on one of those bigger fields and just pretend like, you know, that uh, my fancy wrist calendar rebooted itself, which is quite hilarious, I think. But, you know, there you go, a little nightstand holder for your wrist calendar and your little wrist calendar with the fancy little NATO straps. You can 3D print these any color you want. You can match it up to your favorite NATO cloth strap. So another option you might have, if you're a hobbyist with a, a 3D printer, you can certainly print one of these uh, watch bodies and you can take the clear acrylic sheets and you can score them with an X-Acto knife and cut them out yourself without actually needing a laser cutter. But as far as the placard cards, what you could do is just get some heavy card stock and you could print these yourself on a color printer and just insert them yourself. Instead of having plastic pieces, you could use paper or you could even uh, maybe get thick cardboard, put some laser printed stickers on the front with these colorful letters and they would fit right in there nicely. So there's a lot of options there for you to do if you're a hobbyist. You don't necessarily need a laser cutter. And that's probably the hardest tool to get. Of course, this is a whimsical project. This is only semi-serious. But it is practical in the sense of you can actually wear it on your wrist and it really does give you the date very easily, much easier to read than the tiny little window on a mechanical watch. And uh, I would argue maybe it's kind of cool because it's not an electronic smartwatch. You might call it a dumb watch. It's not even a watch. It's just a manually operated wrist calendar. But I think it's so cool anyways because it's like an anachronism. It's like if you had a miniature typewriter on your wrist, it's just a, a creative thing to do. And I think it's kind of fun to wear two different things on your wrist. You know, if you have seen watch people like really watch nuts, it's not uncommon for them to wear two wristwatches or either two on one arm or one on each arm. That's not uncommon for people that really like watches. So this is kind of a uh, 
Venn diagram overlap between kind of watch interest and 3D printer DIY people and kind of creative nerds. Those kind of three that overlap in the middle is kind of where this really fits in. Anyways, it is kind of fun though, and I really do like, you know, my eyes aren't getting any uh, younger these days, and I really like the idea that I can look at this easily from across the room, even certainly further away than arm's length, I can read that very easily, and that means I can wear my little watch that doesn't have a date, a calendar date, and yeah, okay, I admit, I'm going to have to fiddle with this every morning to keep it updated, and I'm certainly going to probably be using a pair of tweezers, and, and that means I'll probably have to wait until after I've had my first cup of coffee before I even attempt <laughs> to change the date out on this, but hey, it's kind of a fun idea. Anyways, this is just an example of creativity. That's what this is all from. It sprouted from a crazy idea of me sitting here, oh, my phone's across the room, what's the date? To sketching a bunch of ideas in my journal, to sitting down and designing it on CAD and then building it. It's just a lot of fun and I encourage you guys, have fun with these creative ideas also. I will drop the links down below for the files to 3D print these uh, wrist calendar bodies, but in any event, until next time, stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now. I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, tomorrow is going to be the 14th of June, Wednesday. You need one of these.